the technology. The technology has got to go, all right? There's too much technology, too many people constantly checking things. Put your phone away. You're not on call, okay? You could put your phone down. And if, you know what? If you have to have a conversation every now and again, have a conversation with a guy right next to you, okay? Online at Dunkin' Donuts, have a conversation with a guy right next to you because I am an eavesdropper. I used to enjoy the conversation. You could listen to some guy in front of you. Oh, Bobby's got a cat. Linda doesn't like cats. Bobby's going to push Linda down a flight of stairs. I got a whole <laughs> interesting story. Now, I, everybody's on the phone. I find myself wondering, why is this young girl in front of me need penicillin? <laughs> Seems like a nice gal. <laughs> Just, it's ridiculous, okay? You, 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 the, the phone has ruined your way of life. Turn your phone off unless, unless... Unless you're an AT&T customer, then leave it on. Your coverage sucks, doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> and the text messaging, which a lot of you have heard me do, I, I, I'm done with it. Stop. It's a phone. I don't want to read. That's why I bought a phone. Don't send me a letter on my phone. I don't call your mailbox. Don't send me a letter to my phone. I don't know anything about anything, but I know this. Alexander Graham Bell didn't work his ass off to invent the telephone to have you people turn it back into a typewriter. <laughs> Ridiculous. See, I'm sure the first message didn't sound like this. Watson, can you hear me? Yes, I can. LOL. <laughs> LOL. That's disgusting that American boys are sending LOLs to other... That's ridiculous, okay? And dangerous. Don't send an LOL to people. I'm alone on a bus, just minding my own business. Now I get an LOL. People all around me, I'm stuck going... Mwah, ah, ah. <laughs> people think I'm a serial killer. <laughs> BFF, that's ridiculous. You send a BFF to somebody best friend forever. Don't ever commit that long a friendship. <laughs> There's tons of people in my life that I can't stand anymore that I used to hang out with all the time. You're just the best friend for now, BFFN. <laughs> You're my BFFN, that's what you are. Don't blow it. <laughs> TTYL, it's my favorite one, talk to you later. We're even talking now, you jackass, why? <laughs> You save your text messaging for an emergency. That's what it should be, an emergency. Maybe some, a buddy of yours, or maybe you are getting kidnapped. That's when you, you don't have a lot of time, you can't make a phone call, that'll alert the kidnapper. The fact you have a phone, that's when the text message would be important, okay? You don't want to be caught doing it, so just a quick, you know, H-I-B-K-N. Help, I'm being kidnapped, H-I-B. <laughs> if you get a hibikin on your phone, Okay, someone sends you an H-I-B-K-N, you get hop to, man, because someone is <laughs> getting kidnapped. <laughs> and if you get an H-I-B-K-N, don't text message the police. They may not check their messages. Okay, you gotta make a phone call. <laughs> someone grab Bobby. The only text message you should send is is H-I-B-K-N or D-F-T-M, which is my, that's my favorite. D-F-T-M is the best. Don't fucking text me. That's... <laughs> D-F-T-M, you, H-I-B-K-N. Don't fucking text me unless help, I'm being kidnapped. That's... the last thing I'll tell you about technology. Get, get, don't, all right, whatever you do, <laughs> don't get your kids the internet, all right? That's important, all right? The internet is evil, all right? You have children, you keep the internet away from the children because it's evil, because it's only good for one thing and one thing only, porn, exactly, <laughs> exactly. It's not even your fault. Porn will find you, okay? If you're on, a, on the computer, porn will, okay? Don't look at me like that, people, okay? I'm a victim, I'm a victim. I was looking for a cat, okay? You didn't get that, sir. I apologize. I uh, can't help you. There's no, <laughs> I'm just saying, I, my, my son tricked me to give him the internet. He wouldn't do his homework. He's like, yeah, if I, had, if I had the internet, I'd do my homework. I'm like, I got to help the kid. Give him the internet. He's going to do a homework. I got him the internet. It worked like a charm, man. First day, he hooked it up. He's doing his homework. 
Hey, Vinny, you want some dinner? Nah, I'm doing my homework. <laughs> a couple hours later, how about now? Nah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my homework. <laughs> that whole week, hey, Vinny, you want to throw a baseball around? No, nah, I'm in the basement doing my homework. <laughs> Don't come down here! <laughs> Doing your homework or your pants around your ankles. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I get the blank screen. I walk in, screen goes blank. What are you doing? I still, I'm logging off. You down there for six hours? I come in, you're logging off? Yeah, it's weird. The first time you believe it, 87 times in a row? How come every time I come in here, you're logging off? Yes, yeah, I log off a lot. I log off like six, seven times a day sometimes. <laughs> you see my glasses? <laughs> One day I'm like, you know what? I want to see what's on that screen. No, I can't show you that surprise. <laughs> doing a, a surprise uh, school project. You're doing a surprise school project? You're 17 years old? Yes. I will ruin it. <laughs> what kind of surprise would you be doing for me at seven? That's a uh, Father's Day. Doing a Father's Day project. <laughs> doing a Father's Day project in October? Yeah, I want it ready for July. <laughs> Father's Day's in June. Oh, I better hurry. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I don't trust you. Let me see what's on that screen. I unblank the screen. I'm like, oh my God. My son is getting me lesbians for Father's Day. <laughs> I love lesbians. I didn't mean to offend you with that. Have children, everybody. It'll be the best moment in your life. Have children because your life will be filled with hope if you have children. Every father in the maternity ward is full of hope. We're all saying the same stupid thing. Hope my boy becomes a president. Hope my little girl becomes a president. And you never lose hope in your children, everybody. Never. You just change your hope <laughs> as your child develops. I hope he graduates. I hope that witness dies.